Hi, my name is Amethyst, and today I'm going to be teaching the splits, also known as Hanumanasana. So I'm going to show lots of progressions towards the splits, so all levels of practice are welcome to try this out. You might want to have blocks handy. So first moving into half split. So we're going to bring the left foot forwards and come into a lunge to start. And then you're just going to start to walk the hands back as you straighten out your front leg, flexing the foot so the toes point up towards the ceiling. So this would be the first stopping point. So you can stay here, just focusing on getting that nice stretch into the left hamstring. Maybe folding further forwards, hands can be on the ground for support, or you can fold onto blocks. And you could always cushion your back knee if you need to. And then when you start to feel like you can move deeper, you're just going to start sliding that left heel forwards. And forwards. Always keeping the hands on the ground for support. When you can't slide that heel forwards anymore, but you want to go deeper, you can tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and then start to shift that right knee back. And then eventually when the hips get low enough, you might bring a block underneath that left hip for support. So we always want to have hands on the ground for support, unless you can get something here, like a block. Then you can take your hands off the ground, maybe bring your hands to your hips, working to square those hips off. So right hip drawing forwards, left hip drawing back. So keeping the legs strong throughout the pose. Breathe. And then if you're going deeper, maybe turning the block onto this side. Same thing. And then if you're coming into the full pose, you can remove the block, coming all the way down. Still squaring those hips off, staying active through the legs. And then to come out, you can come out the same you wait or same way you went in. So you can start by sliding the hips back, and then you can come forward into that lunge, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, push back downward dog, and we'll walk it out. And then just to be even, I'll demonstrate that on the other side. We're going to step forward into a lunge, lowering the back knee, cushioning the knee if you need. It might be good to spend a little bit of time in this little lunge so you can start opening up through the front of that left hip and into the hip flexor. And then you can walk those hands back, straighten the right leg, flex the foot, toes pointing up. Inhale to lengthen the spine, exhale to fold, breathing into that right hamstring. And then if you're going further, start to slide that right heel forwards. Keep squaring off the hips. Maybe if it feels okay, you can start to inch that back knee back. Hands still pressing into the ground. Maybe taking a block underneath that right sit bone. Finding support there so you can bring your hands to your hips. down on that block to a lower setting. Maybe going all the way down to the mat if you feel ready for that. And taking any hand variations you like. Hands to the hips, hands to heart center, arms reach overhead, maybe a forward fold. 
Right hip drawing back, left hip drawing forwards. And when you're ready to come out, you can slide the foot back, slide the hips back, and then come forward into your lunge. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee, push back, downward facing dog, walk out. So that's my little tutorial on how to do the splits. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. I have some contact information down below in the description. If you liked that video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button right underneath this video. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.